And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast with Carson Vicroy. Now we know in the scouting world, you spend a lot of time outdoors and cars mm -hmm. in this weekend would be the perfect one to go camping or go for a nice hike yep. and just enjoy everything. And definitely whatever you're going to do, make sure you do it outside, Cynthia, because this is what we're looking at in Tyler. Lots of sunshine around. The trees are green. Of course, you know, if we continue to see temperatures falling into the 60s and 70s like what we have seen, we could very well start to see these leaves turn from green to a yellowish orange, a beautiful color there. But once again, it's going to take a while. We still have about a month to go before that starts to happen, but what we do have in the area our cooler temperatures clouds are really struggling as they move to the south. Just look at them kind of dissolve into the sinking air dome that we have here in East Texas. Of course, that is due to some high pressure out to the west. As you can see right there, that's leading to above normal temperatures, but we are also influence with this dip in the jet stream or a trough. Again, these arrows indicate the winds in the upper level atmosphere. Anytime they sink to the south like this, cold air spills in from Canada and we have below average temperatures and that does include us here in East Texas this time. Temps are in the 60s across the board across our interstate 30 counties. A beautiful 66 there in Pittsburgh, Texas. It is 66 in Mineola, 66 in Grand Saline, and it's 67 at the Tyler Bounds Airport, 62 in the southeast side of Tyler. 67 in Rusk and at the Cherokee County Airport. Already starting to see some 70s on the map, especially for our southwestern counties. Lufkin's at 72. We are at 70 in Kennard and at 71 right now in Groveton, Texas. Now let's go ahead and summarize what we had in September because kind of like how October is starting, it was a little below average. Tyler average high was about 86.4 degrees. That's two and a half below the norm and obviously cooler than 2019. Longview clocked in with an average high of about 87.8 degrees. Of course, Lufkin was the warmest spot in East Texas. We were at 88.8. Of course, that is 1.8 degrees below what we typically see for that time of year. 75 degrees that's our high temperature today. Again, I can't emphasize this enough. Get outside and enjoy the weather while it lasts. And then tonight we are seeing those lows falling into the lower 50s, which reminds me Friday football fever. That is tonight. We got 60s as the Lindale Eagles take on the Chapel Hill Bulldogs. Of course, that's going to be at Bulldog Stadium there in Tyler. Over the next several days, temperatures will be in the 70s today and tomorrow. 80 degrees does return for us on Sunday, and then we are alternating between the 70s and 80s the rest of the way. It's going to be a little quick quicker process for deep east Texas. I think we're in the 80s starting tomorrow. Cynthia. Thank